Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our talk today will be about ventricular arrhythmia. I'm Dr. Hala Gouda Abu Mandur, Assistant Professor of Cardiology at Zagzig University. Um, inshallah, I will talk more the, most of the English, uh, the, uh, the lecture in English language, but I will, uh, if I, I prefer some uh, Arabic words for the Egyptian uh, students to understand my record. This slide, I just want to remind you with some physiological consideration. As you know, the heart has two functions, electrical function and mechanical function. The electrical function uh, happened first, followed by the mechanical function, which is a, a systole, either of the atria contraction, either of the atria or the ventricle. This is the conductive system of the heart. Uh, you can see that we have what's called the SA node or sinoatrial node. It is the, the natural pacemaker of the heart. The electricity of the heart arises from the SA node. Then uh, it spread to two atrium in the to the right atrium by what's called internodal tracts which usually are three tracts and to the left atrium by what's called patchman or pacman's bundle uh, after the electrical activity reaches all the atrial uh, uh, co contraction of both atrial uh, happened in syncytial pattern at the two atrial contract at the same time then the electricity will arrive to the av node which is uh, 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 easy AV node, which is a node uh, present in the upper part in the AV junction between the atrium and the ventricle. Uh, the electricity from the AV node will descend through the HES bundle, then the right uh, bundle branch and the left bundle, which divided into anterior fascicle and posterior fascicle, then terminate into what's called Purkinje fibers, which uh, spreads the electrical activity to, to the two ventricle at the same time. So uh, uh, right and right left ventricle will contract in the seated pattern. Uh, um, this means what the this means the pattern means the post uh, ventricle contract at the same time. So we have the normal pacemaker of the heart, which is the SA node. SA node discharges normally from 60 to 100 feet per minute in adults, and this rate is a little bit higher in newborn and uh, uh, young uh, children. Uh, in newborn 110 to 160, and the decrease the heart rate till over 10 years of old, the heart rate will, will be from 60 to 100 feet per minute. After this, uh, we can record this electrical activity of the heart by what's called ECG or electrocardiogram. Uh, as you know and studied before in the ECG lectures, we have in the ECG P wave, QRS, and T wave. P wave represents atrial depolarization, QRS represents ventricular depolarization, and T wave represents uh, ventricular repolarization. Some students will ask, where is the, the atrial repolarization? It's happened inside the QRS complex at the time where the QRS complex appears in the ECG. And as you know, the atrium has thin wall. So so the ventricular activity will appear and the QRS will appear and the uh, atrial repolarization pattern will be obscured inside the QRS. Our topic today is ventricular tachycardia, which is a part of arrhythmia. What's meant by arrhythmia? Arrhythmia is an abnormality in the heart rate or rhythm or pulse. We have many classifications of arrhythmia. We can classify arrhythmia according to the site of origin. Uh, arrhythmia may arise from the atrium or from the AV junction or from the ventricle, which our topic today, today with the power of ventricular arrhythmia. Uh, also, we can classify arrhythmia according to the heart rate into pradyarrhythmia, arrhythmia where the heart rate is uh, less than 60 feet per minute, and tachyarrhythmia where the heart rate is more than 100 feet per minute. According to the QRS duration, and this is a clinical classification, which was very important in diagnosis and treatment of arrhythmia. We can classify arrhythmia into white complex or white QRS complex tachycardia or narrow QRS complex tachycardia. Our topic today will be about ventricular arrhythmia, which include ventricular extrasystole, ventricular tachycardia, flutter, and ventricular fibrillation. First, what's meant by ventricular dysrhythmia or ventricular arrhythmia? Arrhythmia, ventricular arrhythmia is a uh, definition for it is a heart rhythm disorder caused by abnormalities of electrical signals in which they chambers of the heart, which is the ventricles, are the origin of arrhythmia. So ventricular arrhythmia or ventricular dysrhythmia is arrhythmia originating from the, the ventricles. We have uh, three types of ventricular dysrhythmia, either ventricular extrasystole or what's called premature ventricular contraction or ventricular tachycardia and flutter and finally ventricular fibrillation. 
next slide we will uh, talk about mechanisms uh, of tachyarrhythmia in general arrhythmia uh, may result from disorders of impulse formation disorders of impulse conduction or both يعني الارزميا يا اما الامبلس تكونت غلط في مكان غلط بطريقه غلط او او كوندكت غلط او الاثنين مع بعض disorders in impulse formation uh, has two types either enhanced automaticity or ectopic pacemaker activity and the second type is triggered activity what's meant by that and that enhanced automaticity معناه الارزميا دي arise from the normal pacemaker of the heart but the automaticity was abnormal ectopic pacemaker activity means that we have an ectopic focus which uh, present in outside the conductive system of the heart either in the atrium muscle or in the ventricular muscle and this ectopic uh, pacemaker has activity more than the SA node so it can discharge at higher rate more than the SA node واحنا عندنا القاعدة في الهارت الاقوى او الدسشارج at rate at higher rate اللي بيبيت the impulses بيت اعلى هو اللي بياخد الابر هاند يعني البقاء للاقوى so this focus ectopic focus will act as ectopic pacemaker it may be either in the atrium or in the ventricle this is disorders feel in the impulse formation the second disorders uh, in impulse formation is triggered activity what's meant by triggered activity triggered activity means that there is uh, abnormalities in the action potential you see this picture on the left side of the slide uh, we have in the lower part a normal action potential of the cardiac muscle cell cardiac muscle cell not the conductive system so, so this is the action potential of cardiac muscle cell either atrial or ventricular we have phase zero which is uh, depolarization and phase one two three and four which are repolarization here in the triggered activity we have abnormalities in the uh, in the repolarization portion of the action potential we have two types of triggered activity early after depolarization or delayed after depolarization early which is abnormality happens in phase two and delayed after depolarization abnormalities happened in phase three of action potential here is we have some channel opposites here we have some channel opposites المسؤول عن الاكشن بوتنشال يعني فيز 2 البوتاسيوم تشانل وفيز 3 الكالسيوم تشانل مشكله في التشانلز دي مي بي كونجينيتال تشانلوبسي ذيس تشانلوبسي ويل ميك ذيس ابنورمال اكشن بوتنشال تو هابن وذ ريبيتيتيف ات هاي ريت اند ذيس ويل كوز تاكي كارديا سكند كوز اوف ميكانيزم اوف تاكي اوريزمي از ذيس اوردر ان امبلس كوندكشن هير وي هاف واتس كولد ري انتري تاكي كارديا اند ذيس ري انتري ميكانيزم از most common cause of tachycardia at all. Uh, this is presented in the uh, this slide in the upper part of the figure. We should, we can see the three entry circuit. Um, it's, uh, it will have many times to uh, discuss with you what's meant by three entry but three entry circuit. But it is uh, the impulses can uh, receive can come to the circuit by uh, by uh, by any electrical activity when the impulses of electricity reach the circuit the um, the electricity will pass through the circuit many time make this circuit a circuit maybe a uh, micro circuit small circuit or macro micro circuit big circuit in both types uh, whatever micro or macro circuit the electricity will pass through the circuit and this circuit uh, discharge impulses at higher rate more than 100 feet per minute and this will precipitate tachyarrhythmia or we can have combined disorders disorders in impulse formation and disorders in impulse uh, conduction this is the mechanism of arrhythmia in general in our topic today what about tachy ventricular uh, tachyarrhythmia uh, the cause uh, maybe ectopic pacemaker activity triggered activity like early and after depolarization and re-entry circuit so ventricular tachycardia mechanisms of ventricular tachycardia may be ectopic pacemaker activity triggered activity early and after depolarization uh, patterns and re-entry circuit which is the most common cause of ventricular uh, uh, tachycardia in general let's start the first type of ventricular arrhythmia which is premature ventricular contraction or ventricular extrasystole uh, in this type of tachycardia the, the ventricle fire an early impulse which causes the heart to beat earlier causing irregularity of the heart rhythm we have here in, uh, in the left ventricle or right ventricle we have focus or micro re-entry or macro re-entry circuit which discharge at higher rate than the SA node so it can come uh, one beat only uh, 
which is called premature ventricular beat. يعني أنا عندي فوكس أو micro entry أو micro entry circuit في left أو right ventricle. والفوكس دي بتتشارج بريت عالي قوي. بتقدر كل شوية تديني ضربة واحدة بس أسرع من ال S A node. فبالتالي تظهر الضربة دي في ال S G. ولأنها جت بدري قبل ال S A node ما تشتغل. فبالتالي هتبقى قريبة من البيت اللي قبليها. وبعديها تيجي ال S A node تشتغل تلاقي الهارت في refractory period. فتدي what's called compensatory boost. So this focus or this pacemaker or micro reenter tachycardia discharge earlier than the S A node. So it takes the upper hand. Then after it, the S A node will come to discharge. The heart will be in the refractory period. So there will be a compensatory boost after the P the PVCs. So PVCs come early and followed by compensatory boost. The QRS, as you see in this figure, is wide, more than 0.12 uh, uh, second, which is the, nor the upper normal limit of the QRS. Here, the, QR the QRS arises from the muscle itself, so it is wide and bizarre in shape, and the T wave in opposite direction of the QRS. And it's not a sinus beat, sinus beat, or any beat arise from the, car the, the conductive system of the heart will be a narrow as it's conducting through these wires and uh, reach the heart at the same time, so it will be a narrow complex. But in premature ventricular contractions and in any ventricular arrhythmia, the arrhythmia arises from the ventricle, so the QRS is wide, more than 0.12 second and bizarre in shape and the T wave is in opposite direction of the QRS. We have uh, isolated BVCs, which is frequently observed in normal infants and adults and adolescents, in rate of uh, 10 to 15 percent, and in infant, in infant a little bit higher, 20 to 25 percent in adolescents. Uh, benign uh, BVCs or single QRS morphology is suppressed by exercise. No treatment usually is needed. Uh, how can I diagnose the PVCs uh, by ECG? Of course, if I can't see it by ECG, but but the patient has uh, symptoms, I can record it. But what's called halter monitoring 24-hour ECG or ambulatory ECG, and I will discuss this later in our slides. Uh, here, of course, the heart rate is uh, has some irregularity when you see the, see the pulse. Of the patient, he has some irregularities. Uh, PVCs can classify it into single couplets, triplets, bigeminy, trigeminy, or quadrigeminy. What's meant by uh, each term of this? I will discuss this in the next slide. In these slides, I will show you uh, what is the pattern and types of uh, PVCs or premature ventricular contraction or ventricular excess tool as appear in ECG. We may have single EC, uh, PVC like the last slide. We, ha we may have what's called couplets of PVCs. What's meant by couplet means that we have repeated PVCs to PVCs, then sinus rhythm. Like this ECG, as you see, we have two PVCs, two PVCs following each other, then uh, a peat from the sinus, then two PVCs and so on. So pit or more pits from the sinus is no matter. But the matter is two successive BVC, BVCs. This is called couplets of PVCs. In this slide, the ECG shows the first part of ECG. We have three sinus peaks. As you, see, as you can see in this ECG, we have narrow QR, QRS complex. Uh, it is sinus peak. Then there is four repetitive PVCs following each other. This is called quadruplets. Uh, then sinus beats again. Then we have three uh, PVCs following each other. This is triplet. So couplet means two PVCs following each other. Triplet means three PVCs following each other. Quadruplet uh, for, means four PVCs following each, each other, and so on. So now you can know what's meant by single PVC, couplets, triplets, or quadruplets, or more extra. In this slide, I will show you uh, more uh, another classification of uh, or another types of PVCs, which is PVCs maybe bigeminy, trigeminy, quadrigeminy, and so on. What's meant by bigeminy? Bigeminy means like what you see in the first strip in the ECG in the upper strip. We can see a peat from the sinus node and then followed by PVC. Then peat sinus and followed by PVC. Here we, here we have a PVC after uh, S a nodal uh, or normal conductive wave. So normal wave, BVC, normal wave, BVC, this is called by Gemini. One sinus peat and one and the other is ventricular peat. In the lower strip of this slide, you can see trigeminy. What's meant by trigeminy? We have two successive sinus peats followed by one BVC. Two, then one BVC. This is called trigeminy. Quadrigeminy will be three sinus peats followed by one BVC and so on.
So I want to ask you, what's more dangerous in your opinion, Pygemini or Trigemini? Of course, your answer is right. The more, the most, uh, the more important and more dangerous is biogemini. Why? Because in biogemini we have an electrical focus which is more active. She can't permit the SNO not to discharge except one peat, and she discharges other peat. So it's more active, and this may precipitate ventricular tachycardia, which we will discuss later in our lecture. So in this slide, you see ty another types of PVCs, which is biogemini or trigemini. This slide more types of BVCs. We can see in this slide what's called unifocal BVCs. What's what, what does this mean? It means that the BVC has the same shape in one lead. In each lead, the BVC has the same shape, but in other leads, they may have another shape, but fix it in the same lead. يعني شكل BVC ثابت في الليد ده. يعني لو جبت ليد اثنين, the BVCs كلها نفس الشكل. جبت V1 مثلاً, the BVCs كلها نفس الشكل. طبعاً, the BVCs في ليد واحد غير في V1 غير ليد اثنين غير ليد واحد وهكذا. لكن في نفس الليد هي نفس الشكل. يبقى اسمها إيه? Unifocal BVCs. As we see in this ECG, the first strip. Uh, is the lead where BVC has upright position, like upright uh, QRS complex, like uh, can you see? The second, uh, the lower strip from another lead have the, uh, have negative QRS complex. So here we have what's called unifocal BVCs, as the BVC arise from one focus. Okay. And here we have what's called multifocal BVCs. Here we have more focus, more than one focus in the ventricle, maybe two, three, four, or more than that. We have here different shapes of PVCs in the same lead. يعني في نفس الليد لكن هلاقي شكل QRS مختلفة من ال BVC. لو بصينا كده في الاستريب اللي قدامنا if we can see this strip, we can see QRS of BVC first part is negative, the second PVC is QRS positive, so it has different shapes in the same lead. Here we have multifocal BVCs, which is also more dangerous than unifocal. So if the PVCs are multifocal, we have many focus in the ventricle, this is more dangerous than unifocal. Why? Because this patient may go to ventricular fibrillation, which is a fatal uh, condition if not treated well. As we said before, PVCs can occur in healthy heart, for example, an increase in the circulating catecholamine can cause PVCs. They also can occur in disease heart and for uh, from drug abuse like or uh, toxicity like digitalis toxicities. Uh, what's more, what is the most common causes of PVCs, uh, uh, physiological or uh, which is caffeine containing beverages? Excess caffeine, pregnancy, structural heart disease like heart failure, coronary artery disease, and cardiomyopathies, electrolyte disturbances, especially um, hypokalemia, medication side effects like I, I mentioned before, digitalis toxicity. How can I see the PVC in ECG? As we said before, uh, the, the heart rate has some irregularities. B wave usually obscured by the QRS complex or the T wave of the PVCs. So in the peat of PVCs, I can see a P wave. P wave in sinus rhythm before or after the PVCs, like in, but in the PVCs, the P wave not doesn't, doesn't appear. QRS is wide, more than 0.12 seconds. Morphology is bizarre with ST segment and T wave in the opposite polarity or in the opposite direction. Maybe as I discussed before, multifocal or um, unifocal, maybe by Gemini, Trigemini, Cobblitz, Sherblitz, or whatever. Conduction, the impulses here originate below the branching portion of the bundle of health. And the PVCs, as I mentioned before, is followed by full compensatory both which is characteristic of BVCs. For BVCs is required if they are. As I said before, BVCs is a benign condition, uh, will not mostly will not uh, need any treatment, but if it is com uh, combined, combined with the following uh, or have the following criteria, we must uh, treat it. How, wh when I can, when I must uh, treat BVCs, if it is associ associated with acute myocardial infarction, if it occurs in couplets by Gemini or trigemini, if it is multifocal or if it is frequent, what's meant by frequent, more than six beats per minute. What's the most important or uh, applicable drug used to be uh, in PVCs? Lidocaine, uh, especially in cases of uh, PVCs associated with acute myocardial function, is a drug of choice. Procainamide, quinidine, beta blocker, or amiodarone. Amiodarone, amiodarone is a drug of choice when the patient has cardiomyopathy or uh, heart failure. 
Now we will start the second type of arrhythmia of our lecture, which is ventricular tachycardia. I hope you understand BVCs as we will uh, complete uh, on it. What's meant by ventricular tachycardia? Ventricular tachycardia is a rapid abnormal electrical impulses that start in the ventricle. This is a dangerous type of rapid heart rhythm because it is usually associated with poor cardiac output. Can be life-threatening. Ventricular tachycardia can quickly deteriorate into ventricular fibrillation and cardiac arrest. Uh, so it is a dangerous type of arrhythmia. Here uh, the patient has the pathophysiology is the same as the BVCs. The patient has either ectopic focus or uh, re-entrant circuit. But here not one uh, the circuit or the focus not discharge one impulse or two impulses only. No, it will take the upper hand. Here we have atrial ventricular dissociation. And here can be complete AV dissociation. بمعنى the focus or re-entry tachycardia الموجودة في الventricle دي هتشتغل بريت عالي جدا أكتر من the SA node. فبالتالي هي هتشغل the ventricle بالريت بتاعها 100 فوق ال 100 طبعا يعني 150 200 220 وهكذا. في الحالة دي الاتريم بيشتغل بالريت بتاعه اللي هو the SA node العالي العادي اللي هو من 60 من 60 to 100 beat per minute. يعني أنا عندي complete atrial ventricular dissociation in ventricular tachycardia. The atrium contract by the SA node from 6 to 100 beat per minute. The ventricle contract by the VT activity, the ventricular tachycardia activity, which is above 100 up to 250 beat per minute. We have complete AV dissociation. What are the causes of VTAC and VF? VF is a term like uh, the more arrhythmia, more dangerous than VTAC. We will talk about it. Ventricular fibrillation or VF. If we don't, if we don't treat VTAC properly, the patient may enter into ventricular fibrillation, which is a lethal condition, and the patient can die. VTAC, VF are serious condition where the patient can die if not treated properly. What the causes of VTAC and VF? Uh, the causes may be with a structural heart disease or with a structurally normal heart. Structural heart disease like heart failure, coronary artery disease, or cardiomyopathy. Structural normal hearts, what's called idiopathic ventricular tachycardia and long QT syndrome. Here are the most common causes of VTAC, which are coronary artery uh, disease, chronic coronary heart disease, uh, heart failure, congenital heart disease, neurological disorder, structural normal hearts, as I think, as I told before, idiopathic or long QT syndrome, sudden infant death syndrome, cardiomyopathy, all types, dilated cardiomyopathy, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. These are the most common causes of VTAC in general. BVCs, we have types of BVCs, but in VTAC, we have classification of ventricular tachycardia. VTAC are classified according to its duration uh, into sustained VTAC or otherwise or non-sustained VTAC. Sustained VTAC when the arrhythmia lasts more than 30 seconds. This is called sustained VTAC, which is a dangerous situation. Sustained VTAC may be monomorphic or polymorphic. Monomorphic means that the ECG have the same pattern all the ECG. Polymorphic have different patterns of QRS complex while and the bizarre, of course, in two types. Uh, if it's more, more than three seconds, it's called sustained. If it less than this three seconds, we have non-sustained VTAC. Also, non-sustained VTAC may be appear in ECG in a monomorphic pattern on a polymorphic pattern. The clinical manifestation of ventricular tachycardia. What are the symptoms that the patient can came with? If the, if the VTAC is very brief or if the patient has only BVCs, he may know he may have no symptoms but most of people with sustained or non-sustained tachycardia will come with dizziness shortness of breath palpation chest pain anginal chest pain or syncope if sustained and more serious episodes of ventricular tachycardia the, the patient will come with loss of consciousness or fainting or arrested with cardiac arrest or the, the first presentation of the patient may be car, may be cardiac this sudden cardiac this so it's a very dangerous situation. VTAC is a very uh, serious arrhythmia which must be treated rapidly. What is the clinical examination? When I examine this patient, what are the signs I can see on this patient? According to the clinical examination, we we uh, divide uh, the patients into hemodynamically stable or hemodynamically unstable. What's mean by hemodynamically stable? Means that this patient had good blood pressure, has no shock, he is conscious, has no heart failure. This is hemodynamically stable. 
stable patient. If the patient have low blood pressure, shocked, or heart failure, or in fainting syncope or presyncope, he is hemodynamically unstable. And this classification is important for the treatment of this patient. If, if this patient is hemodynamically stable, so I can examine him, I will find what sign I will find in him. First sign, I can see signs of the underlying cause of this VTAC. Second, pulse. What about pulse? The pulse will be regular. VTAC have a focus or micro reentrant focus, micro enter circuit, which discharge at regular heart rate but arise from the ventricle, so the QRS is wide or bizarre, uh, and the higher rate than the SNO, so the heart rate more than peak per minute. What's the normal heart rate or the, the usual heart rate of ventricular tachycardia? It's usually between 100 and 220 peak per minute, but it can, may reach 250 peak per minute. So the pulse is regular with a high rate from 100 to 20, 220 or to 250 peak per minute. What about the neck veins? In neck veins, during examination of hemodynamically stable patients with VTAC, I can see what's called cannon wave. Cannon wave in the jugular venous pulse struggles ventricular tachycardia with AV dissociation. As I told you before, the atrium contract with the SC node, the ventricle contract with the VT activity. Under these circumstances, atrial contraction may occur when the tricuspid valve is still closed. Uh, which leads to what's called giant retrograde pulsation seen in the jugular venous pulse, which is canon A wave. With AV dissociations, these giant waves occur irregularly. يعني إيه canon wave? Canon wave دي wave بنراها بنشوفها في النيك فينز في ال في الحالات اللي فيها complete AV dissociation. يعني الاتريم بيكونتراكت بريت والفينتيكل بريت تاني خالص. زي في حالات الفيتاك وزي في حالات الكومبليت هارت بلوك لما تاخدوها في المحاضرات التانية. في الحالة دي المفروض نورماني الاتريم بيكون تراكت في اخر الدايستول وبعديه الفنتريكل كونتراكت في اول السيستول يعني الاتريم ثم الفنتريكل كونتراكشن هنا الاتريم والفنتريكل ممكن لان ده ماشي بريت وده ماشي بريت تاني خالص ممكن اوكيزونالي اوكيزونالي يحصل كانون ويف كونتراكشن للتو سايتس للتو اتريم والتو فنتريكل في نفس الوقت الفور تشامبرز بيكونتراكت في نفس الوقت والمايترال كلوز والتراكاس بتكلوز سوري فبالتالي هيحصل ريجورج للبلاد كله في الايه في الجاجولار فين فلاقي ويف كبيرة قوي اسمها كانون او فيري جاينت اي ويف هنا طبعا مش هتبقى بريت ثابت هتبقى بفاريبل ريت يعني هتبقى الريجولار كانون ويف يبقى لو العين هيموداينامك ستيبل هشوف عليه ايه الساينز اوف اندرلاين كوز البلس بتاعه ريجولار وهاي ريت من 100 250 لحد 250 بيت بير مينت وهشوف كانون اي ويف في النيك فينز اوكيزونال نوت ريجولار كانون ويفز اف ذا بيشنت از هيموداينامك ان ستيبل يعني هاجي لي ايه هاجي لي بري سينكوب اور سينكوب خلال العين ده بالسلس هحط ايدي على البلس مش هشوف مش هحس بالس او الاقي فيري ويك بالس العيان ده ممكن الاقي ارستد مفيش كارديك ولا ريسبيراتوري ممكن عيان الاقي آه لا قدر الله ديث سو از يو تولد يو اتس دينجرس سيتويشن يو ماست تريت فيري ويل ذا انفستيجيشن اي ماست دان تو ذيس بيشنت ويز فينتريكولار تاكيكارد اور سسبكتد في تاك عندنا نوعين من الانفستيجيشن يا اما عشان ادور على الاريزميا اشوف نوعها ايه اشخص الاريزميا نفسها والتاني ادور على السبب يبقى الانفستيجيشن وي هاف فور ديجنوزز فور اريزميا اند سكند فور سيرشينج فور ذا كوز فور ديجنوزز فور اريزميا فيرست اي سي جي 12 ليد اي سي جي كارديك ريزم ستريب 12 ليد اي سي جي از ذا كلو فور ديجنوز في اني تايب اوف اريزميا الحاجه الرئيسيه اللي بشخص بيها الارزمي هو الاي سي جي وبعمل حاجه اسمها ستريب يعني ايه ستريب يعني بطول شويه الليدات بدل لو الجهاز بيديني ضربتين ثلاثه في كل ليد انا بخليها 10 15 عشان اقدر استدي كويس واشخص نوع الارزميا دي سو فور ديجنوزيس اوف ارزميا فيرست يو ماست دو اي سي جي تو ذيس بيشنتس اف اي هاف ذا بيشنت كومين بيتوين ذا اتاكس اند اي دو اي سي جي اند اي كان سي ساينس نورمال ساينس ريزم وات كان اي دو اي ان جاي لي ب symptoms attacks of arrhythmia وانا suspect انها في تاك عملت له اس جي لقيته ساينس ما فيهوش حاجه اسيبه لا طبعا اعمل له واتس كولد هول تان مونيتور زي ما باين في الصوره الاولانيه الجهاز اللي متعلق في صدر العيان ده في رقبه العيان ده this is whole tan monitor what's meant by whole tan monitor whole tan monitor is ambulatory uh, blood pressure monitoring here we have a device which have a memory card inside it we can record اس جي uh, programming this uh, whole tan device for 24 hours for 48, 72, up to one month. Uh, If the attack uh, of tachycardia uh, happened to this patient every day, so I can report it by halter 24 hours. If every other day, so I will program the, the device for 48 
not uh, record if more or program more and so on here i can detect the arrhythmia if the patient came to me in sinus rhythm in between the arrhythmia if the arrhythmia comes in attacks and he come he come to me in between the arrhythmia uh, but of course if he comes uh, with the arrhythmia i will see the 12 lead ecg tachycardia as you see in the next slides uh, okay i do halter and uh, now, unfortunately, I didn't record the arrhythmia during this period of Holter monitoring. What can I do? Do what's called electrophysiological studies. Yeah, I did Holter, and I didn't record the arrhythmia during the Holter monitoring. I put it in the lab and did something called electrophysiological lab and did electrophysiological studies. So the patients will come to, the, to us in the EP lab, electrophysiological lab, and we will do electrophysiological studies, like the picture in the bottom of this slide. We can see three... Uh, catheters, uh, electrical catheter inside the high right atrial one and one at the his bundle and one in the right ventricle. Here I can recall the activity of the heart inside the heart chamber, it's their solves, and I can detect the type of arrhythmia. Not only can I detect the type, I also can recognize the, the mechanism of arrhythmia, either ectopic focus or the entry. I also can treat it by uh, ablation, either radio frequency or cryo ablation. Uh, بالاي سي جي او بالهولتر بدعمل له بدخله الاسطره في الالكتروفيسيولوجيكال ستاديز اعمل له دراسه الكهربيه القلب واشوف الكهرباء دي طالعه منين نوعها طبعا نوع الاريزميا سببها فوكس ولا ري وكمان اعالجها بالابليشن وعندنا نوعين من الابليشن في الكرايو ابليشن بالتبريد وفي الراديو فريكونسي ابليشن ذيس ار انفستيجيشن فور دايجنوستس اوف ذا كوز 12 ليد اي سي جي كارديك ريزم ستريب هولتر مونيتور اند الكتروفيسيولوجيكال ستاديز سكند انفستيجيشن تو فور سيرشينج for the cause. What shall I will do to this patient? Of course, X-ray, echocardiography, CT, and cardiac MR, MRI to detect any structural heart disease. I can do coronary angiography to detect any ischemic heart disease. Blood test is also important, like electrolyte, potassium, uh, magnesium, and so on. These are the common investigations done for patients who are suspected to have ventricular tachycardia. ECG. What I can see in the ECG in patient with VTAC if he came to me and during that attack, I will I will see rapid Q wide QRS tachycardia, rapid and wide QRS tachycardia. The heart rate from 100 to 120 up to 150 beat per minute. P wave is obscured or uh, not present on the ECG. If present, it will be unrelated to the QRS complex. QRS is wide and bizarre morphology. Uh, the duration is more than 0.12 uh, seconds. Uh, uh, there is complete atrioventricular dissociation. The rhythm is regular with occasional irregularity, and I will discuss to you what's meant by this occasional irregularities. Occasional irregularities will arise from what's called capture beat or fusion beat. What's meant by this? I will discuss in the next slide. In the next slide. In this slide, we can do, we can see two strips of ECG. The first strips and the first strip we see what's called capture beat. What's meant by capture beat? Capture beat means that the AC node can give one for one beat at higher rates that may reach the ventricle. So I have normal QRS complex inside these tachycardia complexes, white bizarre complexes. So capture beat معناها ايه؟ capture beat معناها ان قدره ال AC node في وقت معين اثناء التاكيكارديا الفنتريكولار تاكيكارديا وهي شغاله انها تعدي ضربه واحده من فوق عدت من الايفنود ونزلت تحت وقدرت تعمل ستيميوليشن للفنتك لانها كانت سريعه شويه فبالتالي هلاقي كل الاي سي جي وايت كو ار اس وريجولار ما عدا ضربه جت مختلفه في الوقت ومختلفه في الشكل طبعا نارو لانها شكلها ساينس وقبلها بي ويف اهي ودي اسمها ايه؟ دي اسمها كابشر بيت ودي بتعمل اوكيزونال ايريجولاريتي في الاي سي جي حاجه ثانيه فيوجن بيت يعني ايه فيوجن بيت؟ دي باينه في الستريب اللي تحت واتس مينت باي فيوجن بيت ديس ابير ان ذا لور ستريب وي كان سي وايت كوريس تاكي كارد ذن ابيت ان بيتوين ذا ساينس اند In between the uh, the tachycardia QRS, then the patient have sinus beats. يعني fusion beat يعني beat جاية نزلت من فوق من ال SA node وتقابلت مع beat جاية من تحت من ال ventricle من ال VTAC فعملت impulses شكلها مختلف لا هي ساينس ولا هي في تاك ريزم العادي فدي اسمها فيوجن بيت وبعد كده العين دخل زي ما انتم شايفين رجع لساينس وبعدين رجع تاني البي في سي تشتغل او الفي تاك تشتغل تاني فانا عندي كابشر بيت وعندي فيوجن بيت ودول هم اللي عاملين الاوكيزن في الاي سي جي ولما اشوف دول شور العيان ده عنده في تاك على طول مفيش حاجه تعمل كده غير الفي تاك الفيوجن بيت اند كابشر بيت سو هنا سي فيوجن بيت اند كابشر بيت شور ذا دايجنوزس اوف ذيس بيشنت تو هاف فينتريكولار تاكيكارديا 
these ECGs, you can see different types of VTAC. In the upper strip, we have non-sustained ventricular tachycardia, where I can see some sinus beats. In the lower strip, we have sustained VTAC. In the uh, uh, ECG strips on the right side of the slide, uh, the first is premature ventricular contraction, sh the shape of it. The second is ventricular tachycardia, and the last is ventricular fibrillation, which is just irregularities in the baseline, and I will uh, discuss, discuss it later in my slides. What about the treatment? As I said before, it's a very dangerous condition and must be treated very, very rapidly to seek for life of this patient. In the treatment, we have treatment during the attack, we have long-term treatment and follow-up. So we must treat the patient during the attack, try to return it to the sinus rhythm, then uh, long-term treatment for second prevention for this attack to not occur again and uh, follow-up. During the attack, it depends on the hemodynamical state of the patient, as I mentioned before. It's emergency. It is an emergency if the patient is hemodynamically uh, uh, unstable with sustained VT, v, uh, VT. So here, if the patient is hemodynamically unstable, if the patient is shocked, if the patient is syncope or presyncope, if he has weak pulse or pulseless, if he is arrested, start with DC shock and CBR start immediately. Electrical shock is the intervention of a choice if the patient is, uh, is uh, unstable hemodynamically or have severe symptoms or rapidly deteriorating. Uh, give DC shock and start CBR if the patient is arrested. Uh, if the patient is hemodynamically stable, his blood pressure is normal, is conscious, so here I can start with pharmacological intervention like lidocaine. As I said before, lidocaine is a drug of choice in treatment of VTAC due to uh, myocardial infarction. Brickenamide, amiodarone, and britelium. Amiodarone is a drug of choice if the patient has heart failure or cardiomyopathy or the LEV function of this ventricle is disturbed. So during the attack, if the patient is hemodynamically unstable, DC shock or electrical uh, defibrillation and TBR. If he is stable, I can take drugs like lidocaine, brickenamide, amiodarone, and britelium, of course, in IV line. Okay, if I can treat the arrhythmia and alhamdulillah I stopped the VTAC and the patient returned to the sinus rhythm, what's the, the long term treatment for this patient? I must stop this attack. I must uh, don't permit this attack to come again. I mean, VTAC تاني, the life is threatening. ممكن ما يعيش مني I lost my patient. فبالتالي لازم أدي prevention, secondary prevention عشان العيان ده ما يدخلش في الاتاك دي تاني. A long term treatment uh, may include lifestyle changes, avoid caffeine, alcohol, stress management like exercise program or psychotherapy to ease the stress, then oral antiarrhythmic drug medication for secondary prevention. What is the drug of a choice for secondary prevention of VTAC? Class 1 and the class 3. Class 1 with, with its sub-branches, class 1A, class 1B, and class 1C. And all the class 3 can be used in long-term treatment of VTEC. Class 1A, like quinidine, brucanamide, dizopyramide. Class 1B, like lidocaine, uh, mexilitine. Class 1C, like probafinone. Class 3, like, like amiodarone. In this slide, I give you uh, all the classification of antiarrhythmic drugs. In the slide, you call antiarrhythmic in general. The classes are class 1, 2, 3, 4. As we said, in the treatment of VTAC, you have class 1, all the subclasses of it, class 1A and B and C, or class 3, class 2, 4, no. Class 1 اللي هم ايه اللي هم صوديوم channel blockers Class 2 اللي هم beta blockers Class 3 اللي هم calcium البوتاسيوم channel blockers and Class 4 اللي هم calcium channel blockers Here in VTAC we can use as long term treatment Class 1 or Class 3 uh, anti-arrhythmic drug in this slide, you can see uh, types of antiarrhythmic drugs in general, class 1, 1A, B, C, class 2, class 3, and class 4 antiarrhythmic uh, drugs. Uh, again, in uh, VTAC, we can use class 1 antiarrhythmic, either 1A, B, or C, and the class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs. So what's another, what is the other long-term treatment of this patient uh, rather than medical treatment? A man can treat the other than the drugs that are class 1 or class 3 antiarrhythmic. Man can, of course, enter the other than 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 the other than
راديو فريكوانسي اور باي كرايو ابليشن طبعا العلاج ده مهم طبعا الراديو فريكوانسي انا داخل عين كاسلاب وعشان العرزمة دي ما ترجعش تاني وما اضطرش ان انا اديله العيان ده تريتمنت فور لايف بعمل له راديو فريكوانسي ابليشن للفوكس او للري انتري دي بطريقتين يا اما بالراديو فريكوانسي اللي هو الحراره او بالكرايو ابليشن اللي هو بالبروده طيب اديت العيان ميديكال تريتمنت وحاولت اعمل راديو فريكوانسي وللاسف الحاجات دي فيلد او عندي نون كوركتبل كوز زي مثلا اريزموجينيك رايت فينتريكولر ديسفانكشن العيان دي في الحالات دي ما بينفعش فيهم الراديو فريكوانسي ابليشن ان سام سيتويشن الراديو فريكوانسي ابليشن كان نوت بي دان لايك ان كيس اوف بيشنت ويز هاز رايت فينتريكولر اريزموجينيك كارديوموباسي ان ذيس تايب اوف كارديوموباسي الراديو فريكوانسي ابليشن كانوت تريت اند ذا بيشنت هاز ميني فوساي ان ذا فينتريكل اند ذا كانوت ابليت اول ذا فينتريكل اوف كورس سو ان ذيس سيتويشن وات ذا تريتمنت ذا لونج تيرم تريتمنت فور ذيس بيشنت تو نوت جو ان ذا اتاك اجين هير وي دو واتس كول implantable cardioverter defibrator ICD. Uh, ICD is a small device similar to the pacemaker. It's put under the skin, often just at the collar bone. It's indicated in survivals of cardiac arrest or for those who have certain heart diseases that increase risk for sudden cardiac death, like uh, long QT syndromes, like uh, arrhythmogenic ventricular dysplasia, arrhythmogenic ventricular cardiomyopathy, as I mentioned before. So uh, ICD, I'm going to the ICD. The تحت الجلد تحت الشولدر ممكن الرايت او الليفت حسب العيان رايت هاند او ليفت هاند بركب طبعا في الايد الثانيه اللي هو رايت هاند بركبه في الليفت سايد الجهاز ده بيقدر يديتكت الالكتريكال اكتيفيتي واول ما العيان بيدخل في دي سي في سوري في في تاك الجهاز بيروح مدي انترا كارديك دي سي شوك يوقف بيها الاتاك دي وطبعا ده لايف ده لايف سيفنج بروسيجر في عيان عنده في تاك وانا مش عارف اعالجها لا براديو فريكوانسي ولا بالميديكيشن از ذير اني سورس اوف سيرجيكال تريتمنت Yes, but for treatment of the cause, surgical treatment of VTAC is surgical treatment of the cause, like coronary artery bypass grafting. If the patient has ischemic uh, coronary heart disease, uh, and this is the cause of arrhythmia, so when I treat the coronary, I will stop this arrhythmia to happen again. Uh, like surgical treatment for ventricular uh, aneurysms, surgery for ventricular aneurysms. And uh, last type, after I treat the attack and second to prevent this patient, uh, finally uh, leave this patient. No, maintain for. Follow up care. يعني ركبت اي سي دي او عملت راديو فريكونسي ابليشن او مش شايل معين ده على الميديكيشن بعد ما وقفت الاتاك لازم اعمل ريجولار فولو اب فور ذيس بيشنت بيكوز اتس سيريس كونديشن. It is there any term called the atrial flutter? Yes. انا جبت السلايد دي عشان في قبل كده في شرح المحاضره دي لطلبه غيركم في دفعات ثانيه سالوني يا دكتوره هو في حاجه اسمها فينتريكولار فلتر زي ما في اتريال فلتر؟ Yes. There is a term فينتريكولار فلتر بس الميكانيزم مختلفه تماما. الفنتريكولار فلتر دي عباره عن ايه؟ عباره عن اكستريم فورم من الفي تاك، يعني في تاك بس بريت عالي قوي فوق ال 250 بوصل ممكن 250 ل 300 بيت بير منت، يعني الفلتر عشان كده مش مكتوبه في كتب كتير كتير الترم ده فنتريكولار فلتر، مش عشان هو مش موجود، لا علشان هي في تاك بهاي ريت اكتر من 200 بيت بير منت، سو واتس فنتريكولار فلتر؟ It's extreme form of ventricular tachycardia with loss of organized electrical activity associated with rapid and uh, profound hemodynamically compromise. في the ventricular flutter, بما إن the heart rate بيبقى عالي قوي اللي عنده غالبا هيكون جاي لك بهيمودينامكلي unstable. يعني هيبقى جاي لك إما shocked, يا إما hypotension, يا إما syncope, يا إما heart failure. So uh, it is more serious condition. Then uh, flutter, uh, then fibrillation. It's extreme form of uh, then sorry tachycardia. It's, it's extreme form of ventricular tachycardia. Usually short lived as usually progress to V VF so ventricular fibrillation. يعني the ventricular flutter ده غالبا transient stage بين the ventricular tachycardia اللي عند دخل على VF في في النص بتلاقي في V V ventricular flutter. يعني V tach V V flutter ثم VF or ventricular fibrillation. The treatment بتاعته زي the ventricular fib ليش زي ما هقولها دلوقتي هي ادفانسد لايف سبورت لان عندها هيجي لك بي شوكت او هيموداينامكلي انستيبل طيب uh, بعمل بعمل على طول ايه بدي دي سي شوك و سي بي ار وات از ذا تريتمنت دي سي شوك اند سي بي ار وات كان اي سي ان ذا اي سي جي مون مور فور كونتينوس ساين ويف نو ايدنتيفول بي ويف اي كان كيو ار اس كومبلكس اور تي ويف هارت ريت از مور ذان 200 بيت بير مينيت
This is the ECG of case of ventricular flutter. As I said before, it's a transient stage between ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Here, the heart rate is more than uh, 30, uh, 300 beat per minute. We have a wide QRS complex in all ECG. It's here the patient is uh, hemodynamically unstable and the treatment is by uh, DC shock and start CBR. In this slide, I will discuss with you a specific type of VTAC, which is Tursadopoa. Tursadopoa is a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia associated with long QT syndrome, characterized by phasic variation in the polarity of the QRS complexes around the baseline. It's usually paroxysm, starts and stopping suddenly, like, like any VTAC as it's a special type of VTAC, but it's polymorphic. In VTAC, monomorphic focus واشتغلت بسرعة فوكس واحدة في الترصاد بوا لا ده فوكسز كتيرة عشان كده العيان ده داخل لك على ايه أول ما يبقى فيه فوكسز كتيرة يعني عندها داخل على في اف على فينتروكلر فابريليشن يبقى كده سيريس سيتويشن فالترصاد بوا هي نوع من الفي تاك لكن هي شكلها بولي مورفينج شكلها بيبقى كيو ار اس تويستنج اراوند الاين وانا هوريها لكم دلوقتي زي اي في تاك بي ويف از اوبسكيورد اف بريزنت كيو ار اس وايد اند بيزار مورفولوجي ريزم uh, regular hallmarks of this rhythm is the upward and downward deflection of the QRS complexes around the baseline. The term torsade de poids means twisting about the points. What are the most common causes of torsade de poids? Drugs which lengthen the QT intervals such as kinidine. Uh, as you heard, we heard from COVID-19, we were taking care of them, take care of them, when you 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 take care of them, لو ان عنده بيخش في تاك ليه لان الكينيدين من السايد افكت بتاعته انه بيعمل برولونجيشن للكيو تي انترفال يعني بوظ لي ريبولاريزيشن وده دخل العيان في في تاك سو ذا موست كومن دراجز تو كوست تو سايد اوف والا كينيدين سو تيك كير الكترولايت امبالانس بارتيكولاري هايبوكاليميا اند مايوكاردال اسكيميا uh what is the treatment طبعا اوكي في اسباب ثانيه يس كونجينيتال برولونجيت كيو تي انترفال الامراض الكونجينيتال اللي عالي فيها كيو تي عاليه يعني مش لازم تبقى دراج انديوست ممكن تكون كونجينيتال كيو تي لونج كيو تي انترفال تريتمنت سينكرونايز طبعا كارديفيرشن لازم ادي دي سي شيل العين دي سي شوك للعين ارجع له الساينس ريزم لو هو دي كومبنسيتد وفي ترسا ده بقى اذا بيشنت از دي كومبنسيتد ان فينتريكولار تاكيكاردا هي مي بي هيموداينامكال ستيبل اور ان but in ventricular flutter, the patient is unstable, hemodynamically unstable. In torsade de bois, the ventricular, the patient is hemodynamically unstable, and the VF, the patient is hemodynamically unstable. So the treatment is synchronized DC shock and intravenous magnesium, intravenous potassium to correct the, uh, the this electrolyte and overdrive basing. It's type of treatment I can, if the patient has a pacemaker or I insert a temporary pacemaker to this patient with a rate, very high rate, he can stop this arrhythmia and the pacemaker take the activity until the SA node uh, work. This is the ECG of torsade uh, We have ventricular tachycardia, but with a polymorphic, multiple shapes of the QRS. Uh, the QRS like uh, twisting around a point. This is meant by what's meant by torsade It's a dangerous condition. Treatment is by DC shock, magnesium and potassium, correct ma magnesium IV and correct potassium, and overdrive basing if needed. Um, another type of uh, ventricular arrhythmia is ventricular fibrillation. As I said before in our lecture, we will go from um, dangerous to more dangerous to more dangerous to more dangerous arrhythmia. As I told you from the first lecture, we have arrhythmia that is all dangerous. We will start from the lowest in the danger to the highest, to the highest. Of course, there is ventricular fibrillation. Ventricular fibrillation is when the ventricle is not contracted. In the ventricular flutter, or the torsade de bois, or the ventricular fib. أو الفنتركلر تاكي كارديا آه الفنتركل بيكونتراكت بريت عالي لكن ستيل كونتراكت لكن في الفي اف نو كونتراكشن الفنتركل بيرتعش زي الاتريال فابريشن لما كان الاتريم بيرتعش هنا الفنتركل بيرتعش فطبعا الفي اف العين جاي لك ارستد يعني في الفي اف مفيش حاجه اسمها هيموداينامكال ستيبل لا هو هو جاي لك ارستد على طول التريتمنت بتاعتك هتبقى ايه طبعا الكوزس نفس اسباب الفي تاك الفي تاك لما بروجريس لما لحقتش عالجه بيبروجريس للفي اف التريتمنت بتاعته طبعا الدي سي شوك وبدا 
هبدا السي بي ار على طول والسكند تريتمنت يعني التريتمنت ذا سيم لايك هيموداينامكلي انستيبل في تاك سو واتس مينت باي فينتريكولار فيبليشن ات از ان كوردينيشن كونتراكشن اوف ذا كارديك ماسل كويفر راذر ذان كونتراكشن بروبرتي كومالي ايدينتيفايد ريزم از كارديك اريست بيشنت از ا كونسيكونس اوف ذا كارديك ذس هابند اف يو نيد تريت the patient uh, very rapidly and variable management of VF, immediate CBR and uh, artificial ventilation if needed. This shock in what in about two joules per kg up to four joules per kg. If, recur, if the patient recurs to the sinus rhythm, give intravenous amiodarone, treat the precipitating factor if present, refractory cases, permanent uh, implantable automatic cardioverter defibrillator. طبعا العين اللي جاله في اف ده غالبا هيتركب له بنسبه كبيره جدا لو رجعته طبعا بالدي سي شوك وعملت له ارتفيشال فنتيليشن لو احتاج ورجع للعيان بتركب بعدها انترافينس اميدرون وبعد كده العيان ده بيحتاج اي سي دي عشان ما يخشش تاني في في اف لان طبعا العيان ده كان بيموت The ECG of a patient with ventricular fibrillation. Actually, he is dying person, and I must treat it very, very rapidly by this shock and uh, CBR and uh, ventilation if needed. As you see, we didn't have any QRS complexes, just irregularity in the baseline. The patient is collapsed. He is shocked. He is uh, he is arrested. Sorry, and uh, you must treat it very well. زي ما انتم شايفين مفيش كيو ار اس كومبلكس جاست ريجولاريتي في البيز لاين والبيشنت ده بيكون اريستد وتعالج بسرعه قبل ما تفقد العيان. يعني حبيت اجيب لكم السلايدس دي ديفرشن دياجنوزيس اوف فايت كور اس كومبلكس تاكيكارديا طبعا الفي تاك البي في سيز الفي تاك الفي فلاتر الفنتركلر فيبريليشن كل دي وايت كور اس كومبلكس تاكيكارديا طب في حاجات ثانيه تعمل وايت كور اس كومبلكس تاكيكارديا اوف كورس وات از ذا ديفرنشال دياجنوزيس اوف فايت كومبلكس تاكيكارديا فنتركلر تاكيكارديا or supraventricular tachycardia with bundle branch block or Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome or atrial fibrillation uh, with operation or Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. يعني إيه اللي يعمل لي وات كومبلس تاكيكارديا؟ يا إما اللي عنده ventricular tachycardia يا إما اللي عنده عنده supraventricular tachycardia و left bundle or right bundle branch block فالتاكيكارديا جاي من فوق من الاتريا مش من الفنتركل لكن لما تجات conducted لقيت bundle من البندلز مقفولة فبالتالي QRS هيبقى وايد أو supraventricular واللي عنده عنده Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome عنده accessory pathway موصله لي على طول الفنتيكل في يعمل وايت كومبلكس تاكيكارديا او اللي عنده عنده اتر فيبريليشن سواء كان اتر فيبريليشن ومعاه برضه اوبريشن معناها باندل برانش بلوك اتر فيبريليشن وز اوبريشن معناها اتر فيبريليشن وز باندل برانش بلوك برضه برضه يعني انا عنده فيبريليشن فوق ما عندوش في تاك عنده اي اف لكن كوندكتد لي ثرو باندل رايت او او ليفت باندل هي اللي شغاله والثانيه بايظه فبالتالي هيبقى كيو اس وايد او اللي عنده عنده اتر فيبريليشن ككومبليكيشن من الورف باركنسون وايت سندروم So the difference in diagnosis of white complex tachycardia is ventricular tachycardia, supraventricular tachycardia with bundle branch block at the right or left, or supraventricular tachycardia with wolf parkinson West syndrome, or atrial fibrillation with aberration. Aberration means left or right bundle branch block, or atrial fibrillation with wolf parkinson White syndrome. It's very important to uh, to have the, the clinically to have the differential diagnosis of white complex tachycardia. مهم قوي وانا وانا شايف عن white complex tachycardia أعرف دي في تاك ولا لا. لأن العين لو في تاك ما تعلقش كويس هيضيع العين هيضاي. لكن لو هو other type of tachycardia هيقدر يعيش إن شاء الله وال treatment براحتي. فبالتالي مهم قوي أنا فرق بين the tac و the other uh, causes of white complex tachycardia. I will go so I will um, I will give you some clinical purules. بعد القالق كده اللي هتفيدكم او كلينيكال ون اوف ذا موست كومن ليثال ايرور ميد ان اوريزميا دياجنوزيس از ميستيكن في تاك فور اس في تي اند تريتد ويز فرابميل دلتازيم اولا دينوزين اول اوف ويتش كان بريسبيتيت فينتريكولار فيبريشن ان بيشنت ويز في تاك ايفن اف انيشال ستيبل يعني ممكن يعني يجي لك بوايت كومبلكس تاكيكارديا وتشخصها غلط على انها اس في تي ويز ابريشن يعني اس في تي ويز باندل برانش بلوك ابريشن معناها باندل برانش بلوك فتشخصوا ان عنده اس في تي ويز ابريشن اور اس تي في تي ويز باندل برانش وتبتدي تعالجه الاس في تي عادي فتدي فرابميل او دلتازيم او دينوزين الدراجز دي للاسف هتحول لو هو السبب كان في تاك هتحول الفي تاك دي لفي اف اند يو اند يو ويل بي ذا كوز اوف ذا ديس اوف ذا سبيشن سو تيك كير اول وايت كومبلكس تاكيكارديا شود بي اسيوم تو بي في تاك انتل بروفد اذروايز تعامل مع انها انها في تاك الى ان يثبت العكس عشان ما تضيعش العيان I will give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC. I give you some tips and tricks for the clues for diagnosis of VTAC
think about ventricular tachycardia يعني البيشنت عنده coronary artery disease وعنده cardiomyopathy think about ventricular tachycardia canon A waves in the jugular veins and venous pleasure as, as, as I discussed you to you before canon A wave means this patient has complete atrioventricular dissociation and it's a sign for VTAC if the patient is hemodynamically unstable the patient is shocked, syncope have no or weak pulse, think about ventricular tachycardia, of course. Okay, so this is clinical points to not D, but all like an actor lion, the VTA, low and advanced heart disease, low and canon wave, or Taban low hoa unstable hemodynamically. Now, what about ECG clues for ventricular tachycardia? And then algorithmat kitira awi, ashan to all like lion the VTAC, well, SVT with aberration. Yani SVT was bundle branch block, or SVT was lion and the wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Fi no at kitira awa, how to get a good image. هناخد بس على قد ما تقدروا فيها انا عارفه ان الموضوع ده يعني a little bit higher for your level اكتر مع العيان المسجل ماجستير او حاجه بس حبيت اجيبها لكم هي سهله وبسيطه يعني جبت لكم بعض الالجوريزمز for diagnosis in favor of diagnosis of ventricular tachycardia like Borgada مثلا I will discuss it in the next slides okay what's the ECG clues to ventricular tachycardia regularity of the rhythm if the white quartz tachycardia is sustained and monomorphic then the rhythm is usually regular means that fixed RR interval with some occasional irregularity like fusion beat or capture beat fusion beat and capture beat are sure sign of VTAC يبقى أول حاجة هلاقي ال heart rate regular وممكن لها some irregular زمان تاني حاجة هلاقي complete AV dissociation the strongly suggested ventricular tachycardia لأن لو هي سوبرا ventricular مش يبقى فيه dissociation يبقى AV dissociation strongly suggested ventricular tachycardia وده ما بيحصلش غير تقريبا مش هتقدر تشوفه غير في 50% من العيانين اللي هي ممكن تشوف فيه بتعرف الديسيشن ازاي ان في فيوجن بيتس وكابشر بيت او كانون ويفز. فيوجن اند كابشر بيتس ار اوفن اوكير وين ذير از ايفي ديسيشن اند ذيس از اولسو سترونجلي سجست في تاك اوريجين فور ذا وايت كومبلكس تاكيكارديا. سو ذا هارت ريت از ريجولار اند ذير از ايفي ديسيشن اند اي كان سي فيوجن بيتس اور كابشر بيتس ذيس از شور ساين فيوجن كابشر بيت فور في تاك. What else can I see in the ECG as a clue for VTAC? Bizarre frontal blank QRS axis. The QRS axis is important. When we look at the ECG, we see the axis of the heart. Here we see in the VTAC, the heart is in the northwest quadrant. It is from where to where? From plus 150 to negative 90. In the quarter of the top and the bottom, هنا مفيش أي كارديك أكتيفيتي نورمال اللي هتبقى فيه فيه أبدا، الأكتيفيتي مش بتطلع من تحت لفوق غير أحد أمثلة ليها الفي تاك، لكن طبعا لو هي جاية من فوق لتحت عمر الأكسس ما هيبقى في الركن اللي فوق الناحية اليمين، فبالتالي من إي سي جي كلوز فور إي سي جي كلوز فور في تاك، بيزار فرونتال بلين كيوريس أكسس فروم بلس 150 ديجري تو ناين to minus 90 degree or what's called northwest north northwest quadrant suggested VTAC. QRS morphology similar to the previous seen PVCs suggested ventricular tachycardia. معناها ايه؟ ان انا اللي عندي كان قبل كده عنده ايشيجات في PVCs ولما دخل في الاتاك دي شكل QRS زي شكل ال PVCs بالظبط اللي كانت قبل كده يبقى ده VTAC على طول يبقى هي كانت فوكس وكانت الاول بتدي ضربه كل فتره دلوقتي هي اللي اشتغلت وخدت الابر هاند وشغلت الهارت كله ودخلته في VTAC. What else? If all the QRS complexes in V1 to V6 are in the same direction, what's called positive or negative? Ventricular tachycardia is likely. بين سميها إن إن كل QRS تلاقي لما تبص في ال في ال V في ال ventricular leads من V1 في ال chest leads من V1 ل V6 لما تلاقي فيها كلها في the same direction, either positive. كلهم بوزيتيف كل الكيو ار اس بوزيتيف اور كلهم نيجاتيف ده اكتر مع الفي تاك تمام سبيشالي وات سبيشالي ذا نيجاتيف بنسميها النيجاتيف كونكوردنس يعني يا يعني اما الكيو ار اس كلها بوزيتيف يا اما الكيو ار اس كلها نيجاتيف لو بعضها بوزيتيف وبعضها نيجاتيف لا يبقى انت عندك كوندكشن وده وصل للاي في نود لان غير البولاريتي بتاعته فبالتالي ده اكتر مع السوبرا فينتريكولار ويز ابريشن لكن لو الكيو ار اس كلها نيجاتيف او كلها بوزيتيف والموست شور ايه اللي كلها نيجاتيف دي ماشيه مع الفي تاك اكتر سو اف اول ذا كيو ار كومبلكسز فروم في 1 تو في 6 ار ان ذا سيم دايركشن بوزيتيف اور نيجاتيف فينتريكولار تاكيكارديا از لايكلي 
Of course, if we have very wide QRS, what's meant by very wide QRS? More than 0.16 seconds, this suggests VTEC. So if the QRS width is more than 0.60 seconds, uh, it suggests, suggests uh, uh, of VTEC. This is an example of ECG of, of patient with ventricular tachycardia. As you can see, here the patient has a positive concordance. All the uh, leads from V1 to V6 are positive, the same shape, and we have regular ECG. It's more suggestive for VTEC. This is an ECG of ventricular tachycardia with positive concordance. Means the QRS is positive from V1 to V6. This is another ECG with atrial fibrillation and WBW syndrome. So this is not VTEC. It, the patient has AF with uh, Wolf Parkinson White syndrome. Uh, how can I differentiate? If you look at this ECG, in the last part of the ECG, we have a strip from V1. بص على آخر جزء في رسم القلب هتلاقي عاملين strip طويلة من V1. لو خدت بالك من heart rate هنا completely irregular. فالعيان ده never to be VTEC بسبب ال heart rate completely irregular ده. The complete irregularity دي معناه إن العين ده أثر فلوتر فوق وأثر الفايبريليشن فوق ونزل لي الفينتريكل بأكسسوري باس واي زي ال WBW أو الوفر بكينسون وايت سندروم يعني جاله AF ونزل للفينتريكل عمل لي وايت كيور إس كومبلكس تاكي كارديا بس الهارت ريت هنا irregular so in this strip at the fibrillation with WBW we have irregular ECG we have QRS complexes but irregular ECG this is a clue for uh, at the fibrillation with WBW Another clue is that very high rate. If you look at shortest RR interval, you will see the heart rate is more is about 300 beat per minute. The only thing that makes the patient have VTEC, the patient has white core complex tachycardia, sorry, very high, about 300. 300 means that it's not VF. بس المنظر ده ECG انا عندي QRS complex بس عندي fibrillation visual line ده QRS هو ده الاتر fibrillation was WBW يعني لما تلاقي AF وايد AF بريت عالي كده واصل 300 ضربة في الدقيقة اعرف ان العيان ده عنده WBW syndrome وطبعا التريتمنت هنا على طول AB lab و ablation لان ده serious condition اللي عنده ممكن يخشي لك في VF في ثانية and you will lose this patient um, in these slides and the next ones, uh, uh, ma many algorithms for differentiation between VTEC and SVT with apparency. Uh, in this slide, features of favoring VTEC, if the patient has red bundle branch block pattern, uh, what's favor VTEC or what's favor uh, SVT with apparency? If we have monomorphic R or biphasic QR uh, in V1, or we have S more than R or QS in V6, is in favor of uh, VTEC. If we have triphasic RSR dash in V1 or R more than S in V6, this in favor with SVT with apparency. If the patient came with you with left bundle block, branch block, what's in favor of VTEC and what's in favor of SVT with apparency? If we have prod R or wide R is length more than 30 seconds in V1 and 2, if we have notched down stroke of S wave in V1 and 2, if we have QS or Q uh, capital S capital pattern is in V6 is in favor of, of VTAC. If a patient has no R in V1, no slurring of S, monomorphic R in V6, uh, this is in favor of uh, SVT with apparency. Uh, in the next slide, I give to you uh, many algorithms uh, at as a differential diagnosis of VTEC versus uh, SVT with apparency, I know it's uh, it's a little bit higher uh, level than you. It's need a master degree, uh, but I think it will help you clinically very well. Here we discuss as we as we said before, but step by step, slide by slide, each point differentiate between apparency and ectopy. Of course, ectopy means VTEC. Apparency means it's VTEC with uh, apparency or WBW. Uh, we just said this before in the last slide. Uh, we collect them in the last slide. Here in this slide, I give to you four steps uh, algorithm of uh, white core tachycardia step by step as a summary for the previous slides how to differentiate white uh, types of white complex tachycardia is it VTEC or ectopy or it is supraventricular with appearance.
Again, I mentioned this before, Burgada criteria of VTAC. Uh, how can I see this in favor of VTAC? Uh, if the patient has right bundle branch block with monomorphic RNV1, so it's VTAC, biphasic uh, R more than RS, uh, R dash in V1, it's VTAC, or S, RS in uh, less than one in V6. Uh, these are criteria of VTAC if the patient has right bundle branch block. If the patient has left bundle branch block pattern, I can see what? R with more than four milliseconds, onset of QRS to nadir of S more than 70 milliseconds, and no uh, down stroke, uh, stroke of the S wave. Uh, any Q wave in V6 in favor of uh, VTAC, this is our Borgada criteria for ventricular tachycardia, either if the patient has right bounded branch block or left bounded branch block. Um, I will reach uh, the final of my lecture, but I, I give you some slides. What about management of arrhythmia during pregnancy? Uh, cardiac arrhythmias are among, uh, among the most common cardiac complications in carotid during pregnancy. And some pregnancy uh, may trigger exacerbation of pre-existing arrhythmia, or uh, whereas in other arrhythmia may manifest for the first time. So uh, these patients may have VTAC before, and the pregnancy precipitates the attack again, or this is the first time of arrhythmia. Fortunately, severe arrhythmias require aggressive or invasive therapies are rare during pregnancy. Uh, a primary concern when administering antiarrhythmic is the potential risk of fetal teratology, fetal growth and development, fetal arrhythmias, and uterine contractility. So here in pregnancy, I will not treat the mother alone. I'll treat the mother and take care of the baby. So when given drug, be care, be cautioned not to lose the, 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 that baby. Electric cardioversion is a reasonable option of all stages of pregnancy when the arrhythmia is associated with hemodynamic instability. As if the patient, if the mother is hemodynamically unstable, so I will lose the baby because of instability of this mother, no blood or supply to the fetus. So DC shock is the drug of a choice or the treatment of choice if, the, if, this, if this mother is hemodynamically unstable. Caster ablation should only be undertaken in a situation where reasonable medical therapy is ineffective and the potential risks to the mother and fetus are underweight by the expected benefit. Radiation exposure to the fetus should be minimized, particularly in early pregnancy during or, uh, organogenesis and neurogenesis development. So take care of radiation. will kill this baby or will make congenital anomalies to this baby. So you must uh, use a very uh, well sheath to protect the fetus from the radiation if the patient needs catheter ablation during pregnancy. Unfortunately, most antiarrhythmic drugs are teratogenic and uh, can cause fetal abnormalities, but some of them are safe during uh, lactation. Uh, these slides show us the safety of some drugs can be used as a secondary prevention for a pregnant, uh, for uh, a lady just labored uh, which ha who has an attack of uh, VTAC during pregnancy. These are uh, safe drugs. There are some safe drugs for this patient to be used as a secondary prevention for long-term management of VTAC. Of course, as we are in still uh, about two years in a pandemic of COVID-19, I can't finish my lecture uh, uh, without talking about arrhythmia and COVID-19, what cardiac arrhythmia, uh, what cardiac arrhythmias can be happened in with COVID-19? Uh, of course, you know the emergency of coronavirus disease uh, 219 or COVID-19. It's acute severe respiratory syndrome caused by a virus called coronavirus 2 or co uh, SARS-CoV-2. This is the name of the virus, SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 caused a disease called COVID-19. Uh, it's a global public health concern. Uh, it's pandemic about two years ago. Although SARS-CoV-2 causes primary respiratory problems, cardiac arrhythmias are often observed in patients with COVID-19, especially in severe cases. Due to due to what? Whether the cause of arrhythmia to be happened during COVID-19, maybe alteration in the cardiac con conductions, or repolarization abnormalities, alteration in the repolar repolarization properties. Uh, as well as calcium handling. In addition, uh, several uh, antimicrobial uh, drugs that I said before are currently used for COVID-19, uh, especially chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, and uh, uh, azithromycin, which can prolong the QT interval and potentiate ventricular proarrhythmic effect. Uh, continuous electrocardiogram monitoring, uh, accurate and prompt uh, recognition 
cognition of arrhythmia are very important. Beta blocker therapy should be used with caution because of uh, their side effect, which is bronchospasm. So the, if the patient has respiratory syndrome, uh, acute severe respiratory syndrome, be cautious, not use beta blocker as it will exacerbate the case of the chest. Uh, COVID-19 can produce any type of arrhythmia, sinus tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, supraventricular and ventricular tachycardia. All types of tachycardia can be produced as by COVID-19 disease. In this slide, I, um, I give to you or uh, summarize the pathophysiology of arrhythmia that can happen with COVID-19. Uh, maybe arrhythmia happened due to autonomic dysfunction. This will cause sinus tachycardia, postural orthostatic tachycardia, and supraventricular tachycardia. And what is the treatment in this case? By rate control and lifestyle modification. Uh, COVID-19 also can cause AV nodal injury. And uh, the patient will come to use complete heart to block at ventricular block. Uh, the treatment in such case is pacemaker or isobretinol, dopamine, um, uh, unclear, have unclear road for reversible. If uh, the heart block is reversible, uh, so can give some drugs. If not reversible, permanent pacemaker is a treatment of choice. Another type of arrhythmia, yes. By systemic inflammation, this patient can develop atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation. And what is the treatment of atrial flutter and fibrillation during COVID, like any? Uh, the treatment, systemic anticoagulation, cardioversion, uh, rate uh, control, and resume control by medical pharmacological drugs. And if the patient is survived and he is cured from COVID, I can uh, make AB uh, electrophysiological studies and I can do ablation for this patient. Uh, uh, if COVID-19 can cause another type of arrhythmia, yes. COVID-19 can cause VTAC and VF, our lecture today, by two types, by either thrombosis, coronary, ischemic heart disease, and the patient, uh, this ischemia precipitate VTAC and VF, or by myocarditis. What is the treatment? Uh, like treatment normally, like VTAC and VF normally, as I discussed in this lecture, the same way, but take care of, monitor the QTC. QTC is the corrected QT interval. QT interval in relation to the heart rate, because heart rate will uh, vary the QT interval. يعني كان زمان كنا بن QT interval بس. دلوقتي في حاجة اسمها corrected QT interval أو QTC. إن أنا ب بقارن ال QT بالheart rate. ال QT على الجذر التربيعي لل RR interval. بقيس فيها corrected QTC ليه؟ لأن ال tachycardia ال QT هتختلف مع ال bradycardia هتطول ال QT. فبالتالي ب بقيسها in relation to heart rate عشان تبقى sure إن دي normal finding بتاعتي في ال ECG أو ال sure finding في ال ECG. فا وأنت بتعالج ال VTAC وال VF quick monitor, strict monitor to the QTC, give antiarrhythmic, give DC shock, uh, uh, of course, uh, electrolyte correction if the patient has hypokalemia, and if the patient survive and, and cured from COVID, you can, uh, this patient can go to the CAS lab and do uh, EP electrophysiological studies and uh, ablate this type of arrhythmia. Uh, I came to the end of my lecture. I'm happy to be with you. Uh, of course, uh, if you have any question, you can contact me. I will give you some details about my email and phone number in the next slide. Um, this is my email, the, uh, my professional email and my private number if you need any help uh, for this lecture or any other lecture. If you uh, want me to repeat this lecture with you uh, during by Zoom or by um, uh, any way of uh, the inter internet, it's okay. I can repeat it to you at any time. Um, I'm very happy to be with you and thank you very much. Bye-bye.